Balog Chaba, you have just taken part uh, in the Highlander uh, Cup. Uh, there are two players who, who had really taken it all at some point, uh, Karpov and uh, uh, Kazimjanov. Uh, what can you tell us about the tournament in which half of the participants were uh, former world uh, champions? It's quite uh, unusual to play with this format, that only one prize, yes. And, uh, but it, in any case, it was a big pleasure to, to compete with these players, uh, especially with, uh, with Anatoly Karpov, of course, because uh, he... Uh, okay, when I grew up, I, I have studied uh, studied a lot uh, his games, and actually Botvinnik and his style is uh, uh, was always the closest to me, and I always wanted to play like uh, him. Of course, uh, I was far from it, but uh, okay, at least yes. uh, at least uh, he was my idol. Uh, so so yes, it was uh, it was uh, it was nice to play in one event with him. I'm I'm a bit disappointed about uh, it, uh, about my play okay it's possible to lose of course uh, i consider the, the main favorite of this event uh, rustam kasem you know, but uh, okay after making an easy draw with black i basically without fight i managed to lose with white uh, which is not possible normally i played like a, i don't know like a beginner but uh, since we are here at uh, the uh, festival uh, title the 1000 faces of chess uh, does it actually help? You, you are actually, like, like uh, all of us, we are, you are involved in chess in, in more than one uh, way. So does these uh, 1,000 faces help you in moments like this, let's say, to, to overcome what is uh, in success, uh, basically? No, of course, I have no choice. I must forget it. It takes some time, minutes, uh, days, I don't know. And, uh, and then, of course, I must forget and continue, continue like it did not happen. I must take the consequences and that's all. Okay, so I uh, wish that uh, the, the next phase of chess you will see will be the bright one. So good luck in your uh, in everything.